Hey the internet, this is Luck. We found out this week that the next uh, World of Warcraft expansion is going to be announced. Not a BlizzCon like I thought, but at Gamescom in Germany uh, on the on the 6th, which is however many days after or before, or maybe the day that you are watching this. Um, <laughs> there's obviously a much shorter uh, content delivery cycle or theme content delivery cycle that we're seeing from Blizzard on this and I thought it'd be nice if we could get together and have a chat about that. So let's do that uh, now. World of Warcraft continues its slide towards mortality, at least in the direction of mortality. After going free until level 20, offering character boosts to skip most of the leveling content and introducing a plex-like option for its subscription, you could be forgiven for thinking the game is somehow in trouble. However, it's still operates on its own scale and rumours of its death were greatly exaggerated. It's such an outlier in terms of numbers, it really operates by its own rules. But when the underground sneezes, the mainstream catches the cold and Blizzard has never been above borrowing good ideas. The particular idea everyone is talking about this week, aside from the usual expansion speculation, is the shorter cycle of this most recent expansion. I had a fun time in Wall of Draenor right up until the day of the, the first content update uh, with the first raid in it, at which point the, the smarter bits of my brain managed to slap some sense into the old lizard brain. And after that, I, I, I wanted to log in, I, I wanted to carry on, but I just couldn't bring myself to do it. But having said that, I'll probably get whatever expansion Blizzard announces this week. It'll it'll probably have a really cool trailer and have nostalgia value and fan service attached for good measure. And as if that wasn't enough, it'll probably have some sort of movie tie-in as well. So my dumb brain will assume my excitement for each different individual thing is the excitement for the same thing. I'll end up buying two seats at the theatre. I dread to think how much of my money Blizzard has. So you know what's what's one more what's one more ticket gonna matter. Not that I begrudge Blizzard any of that for a second, it's my own damn fault and I've certainly got value for my money over the years. It's the same way I feel about Ben and Jerry's ice cream. I know it's bad for me, but no one is forcing me to finish the tub. I do it because I want to. I, I can stop at any time, I swear. Give me, give me the spoon back. Like many others, which because of the scale of Warcraft could be said about almost anything to do with it, Pandaria was was something of a breaking point for me. I didn't buy it, but I was back with bells on for Kata. And I'm starting to wonder, with a shorter content cycle and easier access to the content itself, will Pandaria be the only WoW expansion I didn't buy at launch? If the pricing is reasonable, and if it comes with a month with a month free, will World of Warcraft become something I play for a couple of months out of the year? Will I become one of those people who line up for yet another annualized sequel? Is World of Warcraft my Assassin's Creed? Is it my Call of Duty? In a young, even by video game standards medium, enormous change has happened over an extremely short amount of time. The way we think about and use the internet has fundamentally changed. The way sci-fi and fantasy has become the mainstream and playing video games is just something people do. Is WoW now a thing I look forward to playing for a few hours a week over a couple of months instead of slavishly dedicating thousands of hours over the best part of a decade to? Honestly, I hope so. The concept of a virtual world was exciting and enticing 10 or 15 years ago, but these days we pretty much live in one as part of our daily lives. We're moving into the digital age, shadow plays lose their charm when cinemas are everywhere, and now we don't even go to the cinema like we used to, apparently because of DVDs that are now becoming redundant because of the internet. There is a pattern here. The way we consume media, including games, has been changing and will continue to change. But that doesn't mean that old days will die out, you know, there's a lot to be said for creating interesting and, uh, dare I say, immersive virtual worlds, and I still think there's a place for them. There are still plenty of people who want this kind of game, and I think that's great. But let's not kid ourselves that systems predating Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Twitch, and in some cases even Google, are going to cut it in a mass media market in the 21st century. The exception, as it always is, is EVE Online, but you knew that. <laughs> in, uh, in its own way, it's, it's, it's an outlier, just like Warcraft is. So, the world of Warcraft continues to move with the times, and Blizzard has found a way to get money out of me that they wouldn't have otherwise, along with a lot of other people, no doubt. 
the subscriber peak after the launch of Warlords might never be matched again, but it, it doesn't need to be. Warcraft has nothing left to prove, and haters gonna hate, but WoW has been creating and breaking the rules of its own genre for 10 years, and this is just business as usual. And I don't mind, because now I have time to play Hearthstone, and Heroes of the Storm, and Diablo, and Overwatch, and give Blizzard money for those as well, and the cycle continues. So that's it, that's what I think, but what do you think? Do you think it's a, it's a terrible thing that Warcraft is doing this? Do you think that MMOs should allow the, should allow the content to drag out for as long as possible and allow people to really, to really steep themselves in it? Do you disagree that um, the way the way that the media we consume, the way that we consume media is changing, do you think that that shouldn't have an effect on the way that MMOs are made at all? Do you think it's a good thing? Do you think it's a bad thing? Let us know in the comments below. Uh, do like this video, give it a little give it a little click on the old, give it a, you know, on the thing if you think um, it's a worthwhile discussion, if you think it's a discussion worth having, if you think there's any value to it, and subscribe for many uh, wonderful things from fabulous people, and I will see you again real soon. Bye! Make sure to level up your MMO knowledge by visiting MMORPG.com, subscribing to our YouTube channel, and by following us on social media. To catch up on the week's biggest MMO news, watch our latest MMO FTW. And to see if there's a better MMO out there for you, watch one of our latest First Impressions videos. Thanks for watching.